I want to take you to a 60 <laughs> Minutes report that uh, just uh, was released, and um, it shows a videotape that was made in 1999. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Saying, translated, oh beloved uh, brothers, greeting to you from Omar Al something brother. We greet you, the esteemed brothers, and welcome you to Washington, D.C., Washington, the American capital city. And we come back once more to this building, whose name I do not know as of yet. Uh, however, I will provide you with the results soon. Uh, I will get over there and I will report. I'll report to you in detail what is there. He's showing the Washington Monument now. Uh, no comment here because I did not know this place exactly, and that's the front of the Smithsonian building. I'm transmitting this only what I see. Uh, their cars. Who are they? You said uh, you said that this uh, was needed for the plan or something like that. I couldn't read it fast enough. Um, but he talks about the plan. Now, there's a whole 60 minutes, and we'll, we'll tweet it out for you, a whole 60 minutes episode uh, or segment on this videotape. And uh, this has just been released. Now, the 9-11 investigators, one in Phoenix uh, and one, I don't remember where the other one was, were talking about how this tape has been known. We've had it. We've had it. And it was just buried. And the 9-11 uh, victims' families got access to this for their trial against Saudi Arabia. But it was still quiet. Nothing happened. Why are they releasing this tape now? Eden Pure is back with their famous thunderstorm air purifier. It's their top seller air purifier that quickly destroys viruses, odors, mold, and so much more. With thousands of five-star reviews, you know it works. Any smell will vanish after just a few seconds of the thunderstorm being plugged in. Odors, litter boxes, trash can cigarette smokes, dirty diapers, Wow, I don't want to visit that house. The powerful thunderstorm sends out O3 molecules that seek out and destroy odors. I have these in my house, they're great. The molecules go uh, behind and under furniture. Nothing can hide from the thunderstorm. Best of all, no filters to buy over and over again, saving you money. Start enjoying your home again and get several thunderstorms. Right now, you can save $200 on an Eden Pure Thunderstorm 3-pack for the whole home protection. You get three units for under $200. Put one in your basement, bedroom, family room, kitchen, wherever you need the air to be clean. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. EdenPureDeals.com. Use the promo code BECK and save. Why would the United States government release a piece of 9-11 evidence 23 years after 9-11. Why would they hold that and just now release it? There's no such thing as a coincidence, by the way. This isn't just like, oh, you know what? I was going through a box of tapes in my, uh, in my closet and I just found this. It's not that. What is it? Let me tell you a little bit of history first. I open up, I think it's episode number three of my new podcast on uh, history, the Beck story, telling the story of Black Tom. I've told this story before, um, but if you really want to hear the whole, the whole story on it, you just listen to the, the uh, podcast. Um, but Black Tom was a place in New Jersey that was making armaments. And it was a, a storage depot and a shipping depot where they'd get all of the armaments. They'd make some there. They'd, they'd gather armaments from all over the country. And then they would put them on a ship in New Jersey. And they would ship it overseas for World War I before it was declared World War I. It was about 1916, um, 1915, 1916. And the Germans did not want us making munitions. 
They didn't want us to be involved in the war, and the munitions were killing them, literally. So they sent a bunch of spies over, and they targeted a bunch of different places. One of those was the Black Tom uh, factory. Well, it was just a couple of miles away from the Statue of Liberty. Um, The Germans went in at night, set it on fire, and the first explosion happened, I don't know, 11 o'clock, maybe at night, uh, and it registered a 5.5 on the Richter scale. Okay, Every piece of glass was broken for, I think, two miles, three miles. Um, the shock wave was unbelievable. Then, a few hours later, another part of the Black Tom, because it was burning out of control, another part took off. And this was explosion after explosion after explosion, and shells were being launched uh, because of the fire. One pierced the skin of the Statue of Liberty. And if you've ever wondered why we can't walk up the arm of the Statue of Liberty and go stand on the torch, it's because of the Black Tom explosion. It shook the Statue of Liberty so hard, the arm came loose and started to uh, uh, lose its strength. So no one's been allowed up in the arms since the Black Tom explosion. So this was a very big thing. Wilson, however, blamed it on the manufacturers, blamed it on big business, blamed it on people that didn't care about their workers, didn't care about the community, et cetera, et cetera. Even though he knew that it was Germans. But this was right before the election. He was promising America we wouldn't get into war. So he held his tongue on it. And he blamed it on others and said, well, we're investigating still. Well, the investigation, the end of the investigation was announced. In 1941. They announced the investigation and the results of the uh, investigation with FDR saying, you, you may remember that Black Tom. Well, we did investigations on it at the time, and we found that it was German sabotage. And now we have the Japanese among us, and we're worried about Japanese sabotage. So we need to round them up. So news that was about 25, 30 years old or so was now being brought up again by another president and applying it to something else. Now let me ask you again, why is this video being released now? So Stu, do you have a theory why? I mean, not really. It's such a out of nowhere story yeah do you have a theory why it was held i mean protection is the thing that would come to mind Mm -hmm. is it that simple though protection for what i mean the the saudis the the relationship there uh, uh, you're on you're you're starting to you're warming up okay what does our relationship provide i mean many things right i mean uh, the the stated thing of course being uh Protection against terrorism and such, but uh-huh. also, of course, resources and sta- stability in that region at yeah. some level. Uh-huh. And what is the main thing we get from Saudi Arabia? I mean, energy is uh, the petrodollar. When we went off the gold standard, mm-hmm. we made a deal with Saudi Arabia. Because people were starting to say, I'm getting off the dollar. This is not stable. They're going to spend into oblivion. Mm -hmm. So we made a deal with Saudi Arabia and said, you make sure that all oil in the world is sold with U.S. cash only. That that made the whole world say, I've got to have a reserve of U.S. currency if I want to have oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened just a few weeks ago? They're getting off the petrodollar, okay? They're starting to side with Russia, and they're getting off the petrodollar. This is us 
going and now setting up war, not necessarily with Saudi Arabia, but if our finance, uh, financial house collapses, and it collapses today because there's no shock to anything, it's just a house of cards, and it blows over, everyone will point the finger and say, see, these policies suck. You destroyed the country. However, if we have an emergency, if we have a plague, if we have war, well, then it's the war's fault. It was Russia's fault. Remember, the gas prices were Russia's fault, not his fault, Russia's fault. Putin price hike? Putin price hike. Mm. This is sending a shot over the Saudi bow. And so this is essentially us saying, hey, we have this You want to play this game? We'll play this game. Right. And of course, that's when you have that type of relationship and um, you know uh, ammunition that you're holding. It's a scary place when you start using it, right? The th- the point of it is the threat of it. You never, right? You, yes, right. You, you don't want to be using it. You, you never use it. You're far down the road if you're Correct. using it. Correct. And that's terrifying. And that's, the winner, the winner, never has to use that stuff. The winner is like, it's all right. You go ahead, take your shot, mm-hmm. take your shot. I'll wipe you out. And Mm. we're taking a shot. Is Saudi Arabia saying, that's okay. We're part of BRICS now. When we'll dump all of your treasuries and we'll wipe you out. Go ahead, play this game. This is another step towards global war.